Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred On. I am at uh, Andalek Metro Station. Just come out of the ground, done our fan cams. We lost 2-1, obviously, and this is my post-match review. Um, depressing, like a lot of the fan cams have said. First 10, 15 minutes, we were all over them. It was like a training game. We got the early goal. We should have had another one, maybe two even. And then, silly goal conceded. Second ball off a corner, the guy had loads of space. Yes, it was a good finish. But can you let players have that much space in the box? If you do, then you're asking for it in a way. So it's one all and then suddenly it's a different game. Their confidence has risen. Our confidence isn't as high as it was in the first 10 minutes. And then it becomes a scrap. I have to say though, throughout the whole game, I just didn't see them scoring. I thought their goal was a half chance. They weren't making any other chances really. And then come the last 20 minutes, 25 minutes, it opens up. Kieran Trippier gets done down the right hand side and it's a goal and you know, for example, their striker, this guy, uh, he, he's walked off to a standing ovation. It's, he basically thinks he's going to get his big move and he's one of the worst strikers I've ever uh, seen play in my life. And yet he's ended up scoring against Spurs and elective one. Their players have then gone and done a lap of honour after the game, giving it the big olays in front of the crowd. And we're just sat there being stuck in the ground, all the Spurs fans, we're just thinking, how on earth did we lose that game? I don't know how we do it. We just so average, so one tempo, but we still should never have lost that game. Just the quality was so much, you know, you can just tell we had more quality than them, but on that performance, it wasn't enough. One thing I would say is similar to the Arsenal game when we lost that, you know, we play a mixed team in these games and they don't know each other as well as the kind of first 11 do when they play in the Premier League games. And you can tell, I mean, Toby and Jan and Eric in front of them, excellent again, excellent. I don't feel like any of the goal, either of the goals were their fault, but in terms of the players who come in around them, Sometimes it just gets mixed, mixed up, you know. Trippier's had a few chances now. I don't think he's ready or maybe ever going to be ready to take Walker's place. Um, Rose, I would have back in for Davis again. And yeah, we just mentioned it with Chris Cowlin in one of our fan cams. Uh, maybe you can see that later. But Dembele, you know, he played so well against Liverpool, but he comes in today, not a great performance. And can him and Eric Dyer play, to play together or is it an either or in front of the back four? I don't know. Let us know what you think about that situation in the comment section below. Inevitably, people will talk about Harry Kane because he came on and then missed a gilt edge chance in the second half. He's not scoring goals, obviously. He's snatching at things a bit. He's not confident. He needs one again to go in like through the keeper's legs or something. But we've just got to believe that he is the player that we know he is. You know, Don't listen to the press. Don't believe it. He will come good. He is a great striker, great hold-up player. Uh, brings other players into the game. And, and, and to be honest, today, and G played up front before Kane came on, and he's not ready. He's too raw. So let's stick at it. Let's go to Bournemouth on Sunday, turn them over, get the momentum back up. Still unbeaten in the league since the first game of the season. These are the positives that we have to grab. Let's hope we go there, turn them over. Guys, let us know what you think in the comment section below about tonight. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow us on Twitter, at TV. Come on, you Spurs.